This way. I am fighting all the demons today. Dogs, cars, everything. Everything, darling. Hey, gorgeous, and welcome to my channel. I'm Kapadash Mangi, and this is how I do things. The show where you see me. Just and welcome to my channel. I'm Kupana Shimangi and this is how I do things. The show where you send me your questions and I let you know how I would do things and I can take it as entertainment or use it as advice. Take it. Don't take it. Use it. Don't use it at all. Listen, do what you will with it. I need do what you will with it. I'm just letting you know what I would do if I was in your shoes. Today, I'm out in the wilderness, darling. I'm fighting dogs, birds, cats, wind, mosquitoes. Seasons are changing. Why are there still mosquitoes? Suck in the blood out of me. Okay, listen. So today is a cozy conversation. I've got my cup of tea. It's already spilled on me, as you would have seen. I'm sitting out here fighting the wilderness. The wilderness. Everything. Everything. I'm just here on the balcony enjoying the fresh air. And I thought, why not just film the How I Do Things episode for Sunday? Because load shedding has been having me sideways. Sideways. Bent me over, smacked me on the bum and just like, ha! How you like me now? So I'm just deciding, let's just do something different today. And the lighting is what it is. It's after, um, what's this thing called? Golden hour and I've got very little lighting. I'm on the wrong side of the house, but we make it work though. Cause these are my tones. Nude, beige, brown, gray, stone. Today on Covizy Conversations, let me know what you're drinking. I am having five roses tea with some almond milk, no milk, no sugar, no honey. And today we are talking about attention seekers and validation. Who here is an attention seeker? Be honest, when, when you at the back, behind your friend, hiding behind the cell phone, you're an attention seeker. Tell the truth. Mm -hmm. Look, no one wants to say they're an attention seeker. No one does because it ain't cute. We're like calling other people attention seekers, but we don't want to call ourselves attention seekers. So the other day I got this question online and the person was just like, would you continue to do what you do if no one gave you credit for it? Like the job where you're at, if no one actually said that, hey, this is Gopana's presentation and she did this. And basically the company took all of the credit for what you did if no one actually came and said you know this is a good job well then if no one said hey this food is amazing would you continue to cook if no one said your videos are so great would you continue to post up videos and i was just like hmm that is a very good question it is because i'm just like would i would i continue if no one watched my videos and there were like five views per videos would you continue to post content on instagram if nobody liked your stuff it's an interesting question because that is all validation and in a way it's linked to attention seeking. We post because we want the likes and if we didn't get the likes we won't pose. It's always nice and fun calling somebody out for their attention seeking habits, for them seeking validation and be like ah you know Stephanie, Stephanie's an attention seeker, that one ah, she just does things for people's attention. That's how it is, we like to call other people attention seekers but us. You'll never say that, you know me, I suffer from attention seeking or I suffer from seeking validation from people and I'm really working on, we don't do that. See, there's a difference between give credit where credit is due and doing things for the credit. Like, do you genuinely like your job? Are you good at your job and you're doing it for solving the problem or the better good of whatever your organization does? Or are you doing it to somehow receive credit? I understand if you've done something, you deserve to be the one to receive the awards or the accolades and the congratulations and all of those things. However, are you doing it to do a good job because that satisfies you? Or are you doing it because you want the credit? So here are five thoughts about attention seeking and validation. Number one, do you get a little sad when you put a little extra attention and effort into something and people don't notice? Like you put a little effort, extra effort into cooking supper and yeah, the food is good, but no one noticed that it's something different. It's something special. You went out of your way. You went to the Chinese markets down deep down Kudokunjis to go get seaweed that was a specific type and you literally put so much effort into it. And yeah, the food is great, but nobody gives you that extra. Oh my gosh, do you get a little sad? about that like when you put in extra effort into your makeup and no one notices or you change your hairstyle and then no one says your hair looks nice do you get a little sad about that 
that's validation. It stings, doesn't it? I know, I suffer from it as well. I'm just like, but I want to get complimented. Like, is there anything wrong with getting complimented every now and again? Number two, when something happens to you, do you look for someone to share the story with just so that they can feel sympathy for you or they can say, oh, shame. Sorry, my friend. I'm sorry you had to go through that. I know it seems a bit tough because we want to share our stories with people, but if you don't get a story from the other person, that means that you're seeking some sort of validation or you're seeking attention specifically for the thing that you feel sad about, the thing that you feel sorrowful about. E, number three is like the worst type of attention seeking. Gaslighting. Do you know what gaslighting is? You see that gas is sitting right there and you go fetch a match and you light it. So you're in a discussion, you're in a debate, right? And you're just like, I, you know, you ask a question that you know is going to cause some sort of debate only because you want to see how people re will react. You're not going to gain anything from it. You're not going to know anything new. You're not going to, it's not going to progress the conversation in any way. You just want to see how people are going to react. Why? Just cause. You know, some people will be like, I just want to play the devil's advocate. I just want to see. I want to know how you react if I did this. Why? It's called gaslighting. And that's an attention seeking tendency. And I know as I'm going through this list, you're just like, Stacy's a gaslighter. Number one, that sounds like John. Number two, that sounds like, but can we actually notice those things in ourselves? Ugh, sip tea. Number four is one that I've done before. I've done it several times. The damsel, where it's just like, oh, this thing is so heavy, please help me. <laughs> Not actually asking for help, but like just making sure that someone sees me struggle. It's kind of weird even admitting it, but guys, it happens. I can't be the only one who has ever done any of these four things. Honestly, I'm starting to realize that, you know what? Sometimes we just need to look at ourselves, be honest with ourselves. And I feel like the more I'm honest, the more we can all be honest in the comment section. Where it's just like you want someone to see your effort. You want someone to see that you're doing a lot of work. You want someone to see that you're struggling just so they can be like, oh my word, you've done so well. Let me help you. Oh my goodness. It happens. It's okay, babe. We'll work through it. Number five is one I've actually, I don't think I've done. I've tried but I think I'm too shy for it. But everything is dramatic. <gasps> the food is burning. Oh my gosh, yesterday, the traffic, it hates me. I sometimes do it, but I'm not all like that all the time where you know you have your dramatic friend, you know, and you're thinking about her. You're just like, yes. Tepiso is a attention seeker. That one, <laughs> you know, you know which friend is like that. And you're just like, yes, she's an attention seeker. But if everything is drama, nothing can be chilled yes you were late it's okay like the world is not over let's continue with things it happens and we know those friends and we always want to call out those friends and identify other people but today over this cup of tea honey i want you to try and identify that in yourself that's what cozy conversations is about isn't it it's like let's be honest let's just look at something and see if we can identify ourselves instead of pointing fingers at other people that everything has to be drama Everything is a big deal. Everything is just so dramatic. Okay, fine. So there's those five things, five different ways that we seek attention or validation from people. But what do we do about it? Now that we see them, now what? Great, we've identified them. Now I feel terrible about myself. Where do we go from here? The thing is, we let a lot of our thoughts go unchecked. We just continue with life. We don't check in with ourselves. How are you doing today? How are you feeling? Why are you feeling like this? And then those feelings just continue to cascade and they build. Because you have to realize that in this world that we live in, what you think affects how you act. How you act, you keep acting that way, it becomes a habit. That habit becomes your life. So if you feel that you need validation in certain areas of your life, it starts to become a habit seeking that validation and then your life, you're just portraying a life of constantly doing things for other people's approval. We are enough. We need to congratulate ourselves more often. That's why I like my journal, her daily success journals, because every single day I ask myself, what have I done right today? That's so important because sometimes I feel like other people should say, you've done this well and you've done that well. But ever since I've started doing that, I'm just like, I don't need you to tell me that I've done it well. I know I did. I wrote it in my journal today and I congratulated myself for it. Less needing to feel validated. It feels like such a bad thing to say that maybe I do seek attention. 
or maybe I do seek validation because back in school we used to like pointing fingers at other people saying you're you're an attention seeker you're an attention seeker so to turn around and say maybe I have attention seeking tendencies feels weird and it makes you feel a bit bad about yourself but don't because we're all human just don't let your thoughts go unchecked if you feel a certain way and it's causing you to act a certain way think about it get a journal write it out find out why you feel that way and then that will become a habit that you check on your feelings you check on what your thoughts are and you'll so slowly start to improve okay so this is a very chilled cozy conversations the main reason why is because i'm on a balcony and the whole world can hear me so i'm trying to shout okay but i hope that you guys enjoyed this episode please give it a big thumbs up if you did and if you want to see more content like this way we switch it up get out of the studio have different angles let me know what you think. We'll make it happen, honeys. Thank you so much for sticking around. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning at 7.30 for another live premiere. I'm Kapana Shimang and this is How I Do Things. Ah. Wait, we shall remember this one. Let's try this again because I'm running out of light. Hey gorgeous and welcome to my channel. 